Welcome to chapter four. So chapter four starts one of three chapters where I break down each level based on the research behind it, just so that you're well informed about what the three questions at each level really mean and what you should be looking for and doing in your particular lesson. So this one starts with engagement because of course that's the one that we hear the most about technology. Technology engages students. But what this chapter does is it redefines what engagement should be. It's not just about students looking at a device or students behaving because technology is in front of them in the classroom. It's really, or students saying it's fun, it's really about what true authentic engagement means to actually connect students to higher cognitive skills and to learning. Um, so the chapter starts off talking about what it is to be social in learning and how important that is as part of engagement. And if social um, engagement is happening through the software, that's excellent. If it's not happening through the software, in other words, if they're not talking to another human somehow through the software, then um, teachers need to make sure they're creating instructional moves so students can partner up and pair up and do think pairs and shares and things like that. Um, the, the second part of engagement is this focus on kind of the learning goals and the time on task, making sure that the technology is not actually distracting from the learning, which a lot of technology can be incredibly distracting. Think about all the technology where students get to go shop for their avatar, or they get the stars and the bonus points, and they get a special game at the end. Um, so they have these kind of extrinsic rewards that they're focused on rather than the actual learning. Um, then the chapter actually goes into some examples about um, uh, it talks about some strategies you can use, um, some instructional strategies if it's not present in the technology. Um, those are really important because a lot of technology, um, uh, social learning, co-use, time on task isn't necessarily present. So you need to make good instructional moves to make that happen. Um, it also talks about some software out there that actually was created with good authentic engagement strategies in mind and good pedagogy in mind. And it encourages you to look for software like that rather than using software that is more what we might call kind of a drill and practice approach, which doesn't have so, so much positive gains in learning that we found. So there's some examples of different software and how that helps to better promote um, good uh, social learning and co-use. And then at the end of the chapter, there's all these scenarios. And what the scenarios allow you to do is um, to read a short case about a teacher using technology and then go through each question of engagement, each of the three questions, um, to see what the answers are. And, you know, I would encourage you to kind of cover up the answer and take your own guess rather than immediately reading the answers, just so that you can start to tune yourself into what to look for in engagement. 